derivative of trigonometric functions find y dash so y dash means dy dx correct so we have two functions here one is 2 times sin x cos x the other one is y equals to tan sin x you can pause the video solve the question and then look into my suggestion now the first one here we can apply product rule sin x and cos x are two different functions or and solve them right or what we can do is 2 sin x cos x is what is sin 2x so we can write in that term and then do it so I'll adopt the second approach that is I'll write this as sin 2x correct right? and then find y dash so this is y I mean this is y for me and now find y dash y dash basically means dy dx that means we are trying to differentiate with respect to x on both the sides so when you differentiate this function with respect to x what do you get sine 2x so we get differentiate of sine theta is cos theta so we get cos theta or cos 2x times derivative of this function <coughs> which is 2x the angle theta itself which is 2 so I can multiply by 2 here and write down my answer so for us y dash is equals to 2 times cos 2x that is the answer if you do the product rule you get the same answer you need to simplify a bit to come to this stage okay now here I will try to do it with the help of substitution method right so that is I will substitute theta as equals to sin x in that case d theta dx will be what will be cos x correct now since I have substituted theta for sin x I can write this function as y equals to tan theta so what is dy d theta now the function is in terms of theta right so we'll differentiate with respect to theta so we get dy d theta equals to secant squared theta right but what do we want to find we want to find dy dx that is what this y dash means this y dash means differentiate with respect to the variable right x so what is dy dx for us we'll apply the chain rule dy dx is dy d theta times d theta dx right now what is dy d theta dy d theta is secant square theta right and theta is sin x do you see that so we can write down the answer right here now so dy d theta is secant square theta and what is theta theta is sin x in fact let me first write here so if we have here secant square instead of theta I will write sin x you understand so that is dy d theta and what is d theta dx it is cos x correct so that is the answer we get so we can now write down the answer as secant square sine x times cos x I hope you understand so we could have done it directly also so in that case we'll do outside function first so derivative of tan of theta will be secant square theta that is secant square sine x and then times it with derivative of inside function inside function is sin x so you multiply by cos x that is how you get but these are the correct steps to do it now in the following videos I will kind of not go through these chain rule but I will do it direct but I hope you could correlate right let me hope for the best and if not try to understand this process of chain rule this is kind of a good way of doing it right thank you